you go. Okay. Uh, so we're going. You look and I am live. Uh, we're going to try to do a drawing stream for the first time uh, and see how that goes. Um, going to start and just try to do uh, a little warming up. Um, somebody, I posted a picture of some pretzels that we made over the weekend to Twitter, and somebody pointed out that one of the pretzels looked like um, a little face. Uh, and I'm going to try to just draw that to start the stream, I think. I still don't really know what all the brushes um, I like, but... Oh no, I don't want... I don't really want tech... The mm, texture is not the right word, but I don't want the... Um, I'm not going to finish my sentence, that's fine. Oh, thank you. Brian is adjusting my lighting. I like that. It's gotta be a little wider, boy. We're just doing some art streams. I'm gonna try not to lean, I guess, too far forward. I don't know what's good. We'll see. <laughs> Feeling very self-conscious about being close up on camera. Mm. Yeah, this is uh this is per great. Um yeah, we don't know how to get the royalty free music. We're not we're I'm not a pro streamer. Um but Twitch did just announce that they're doing a program to that they're like putting on an extension that will do it for you. So I signed up for the waitlist for that and so hopefully that'll come through. But otherwise it's just gonna be either quiet or me um reading things from chat and responding that way. So we'll <laughs> I'll try to talk more, I guess, since there's no background music to go um to go with the stream um yeah just wh what are you gonna do uh and yeah i'm drawing on my ipad um with just procreate which is the kind of basic uh drawing software that's on the ipad um i do have photoshop um because i ha there's a we got a license through oh no um through vox media um but I'm trying to use more Procreate just in the eventuality that I lose that license because it's expensive um, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, uh, I think that's a cute idea. Uh, everyone just put on whatever Spotify <laughs> playlist you want and um, listen to your own chill tunes and tune into the stream. The shapes are coming together okay, so I feel alright about that. <laughs> Only I can send this in chat. I can't tell I can't open Spotify right now, so I don't know what it is. But uh, it's the one from it's not kinda of option. It's I can play it for just a second and hope we don't get copyright strike. Wait, it's this one. Oh yeah, it is a good song. It's a really good song. Okay, so I think we have a pretty good pretzel base right now. It doesn't really look like a pretzel right now, um, but I'll try to make it look like a pretzel by with some color. Okay, this is beautiful pretzel chan, um, and we're gonna make it. Oops, uh, look more like a pretzel by adding some salt and stuff. Actually, I'll put this all on a top layer here. Uh, everyone listen to the boys are back in town. Imagine you're in the end credits for the Expendables. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, honestly. I'm just putting some salt on here. Um, ooh, is that too small? Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay, yeah. There we go. You're gonna see me make a lot of layer mistakes, so just get used to that right now. Uh, let's zoom back out to pretzel, pretzel chan. Okay, we need to do a little more erasing here. 
Um, yeah, I was thinking about doing this pretzel and then trying to do maybe some spooky drawings, but I don't really have any ideas right now. So, um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Well, oh, dang it, I put it, so you see I already put it in, in a different layer than I wanted to, it's fine. Yeah, a little salt freckles. It's just a little salty boy. The pretzels also turned out really, really good. So, I'm very happy about that. Oh, did I undo that in inadvertently? Karen, you should draw some emotes for your stream. <laughs> Brian was just saying, saying this at me um, before I started streaming, and I will, but I don't know. I don't know what emotes people want. Pretzel emote? <laughs> Allegra's here, yay! Allegra is a neighbor and a friend. Let's see. Okay, uh, I need to delete some lines here. It looks like a Pepe? Get out. Get out of town. Don't tell me that. It's gonna look like a pretzel, don't worry. Okay, um, I've gotta add a little more scoring detail, I think. Let's see, I'm doing, I'm trying to use my pretzel photo as a reference drawing. Um, I thought it was a frog, Steve. Everyone thinks it's a frog. This is a disaster. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I'll once I put color on it. I mean, maybe it'll still look like a, a toad, but I'm okay with that. Okay, this is just gonna be salt detail. Uh, thank you for shouting out Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell rules book rules and the BBC adaptation rules. It's not Pepe! Stop bullying me on my own stream. It'll look less like Pepe in a bit. I promise. I actually can't really promise that. I don't know if that's going to be true. I mean, I hope not, but... I mean, if anyone tunes in and thinks it's Pepe, it could be worse. It doesn't look t entirely like him, right? It's not a racist pretzel. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, stop that. Please move. Thank you. Okay. Um, what brush should I be using for color? Let's see. Nice kind of yellower color. Please. So, yeah, also just like, please stop talking about that in my stream. <laughs> Not to tell y'all what to do, but I don't know. It's a little anxiety-inducing. I should probably get better at like using layer masks and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not great at this yet. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cuss on stream. It's fine. I've cussed on stream before. Who cares? A little lighter, I think. This is a little mm, more froggy bread. Yeah, you can talk about other frogs as much as you want. That's totally, that's allowed and totally fine. I just don't really want to talk about Pepe. Um, although there was a, a documentary that came out recently that my boss recommended um, called Feel, Feels Good Man. That was specifically about like the guy who, um, uh, created Pepe and like how he thinks actually I don't 100% know what the doc is about but it's focused on that guy and his experience after his uh, meme got his art got turned into a meme and then inadvertently became uh, something much worse um, I don't know uh, I'll, I, I will say this uh, drawing does mean that I can I can't pay as much attention to chat, so I apologize for that. Um, but I think it's okay. Mm, I think a little slightly... Mm, yeah, I think that's a nice pretzel color. Okay, I'm just going to color the whole thing first. And then 
we'll do some more like, color gradations and stuff from there. But yeah, Toad and Mr. Frog rule. Uh, I'm trying to get one of my friends to knit um, a two dolls of Mr. Frog and Toad for me. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Cause there's, cause the pattern is really, really cute, and I would like to see them, you know. Okay, now he's brown, so hopefully he looks less like Green Frog. Okay, now we're gonna put some more colors up in this business. It's too yellow. Um, not light enough. I think it's still too kind of mustardy. Yeah, that's better. Hamburger Toad. Carapy is the best. It's hard to hear. Is anybody else having trouble hearing what I'm saying? Or is, I don't know. I mean, I'll look into it if it seems like a big issue. You share a birthday with Karapi. No, I sound good. Um, if your total system, yeah. Okay, ho well, hopefully it gets figured out because I. it seems like it's not a tech issue. Um, I'm afraid that this brown color just makes him look like a poop right now. Um, let's see, a little, I think a nice, a dark brown here for the eyes would be good. Okay. You just need some highlights. Yeah, I think, I think that's right. Let's see. Gosh, it really, maybe once I put some background color in, it won't look like this anymore. <laughs> maybe if the salt was brighter. Yeah, I am going to color in the um, salt white after in a second, uh, but right now I'm just trying to get these colors right. Contention for best frog. <laughs> They're good frogs. Um, the ones that we made turned out uh, mostly pretty soft, um, but we, uh, I'll just, let's get in there and erase some salt crystals. Ah, it's too big. Um, when we first took them out of the oven and ate them, they're pretty soft, but we put them in a little longer to give them a little crunch and also hopefully make them last a little better and reheat better. Um, Brian had another one for, with dinner today and it, it turned out really, really nicely. So I think we made the right call there. Salt really helped. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. That looks a little more like pretzel. Um, I think I'm going to do a background color and then try to put a kind of lighter color over all of it um, and see what happens. Uh, so we put them on a gray pan. I'm just going to replicate that, I think. Make the gray a little bit lighter. That's a sad color, though. Um, what would be good to put behind this boy? Cinnamon on pretzels. I've never tried that. Maybe I will. Um, a little yellow. Mm, no, it's a little too tan. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Cinnamon pretzels. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, I was. Um, I feel like I always kind of associate pretzels largely with Annie Ann's, which were the kind of pretzels that I would always get at the mall or uh, in my adulthood, like, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I'll do that. Um, at the, 
airport. Okay. And let's put a nice color wash over this whole thing. I might have to erase the... I might have to erase the things again. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, watercolor. Let's see. I'm just trying stuff out right now. Texture. Oh, interesting. I actually do kind of like that, I think. Yeah, that gives a nice sense of texture. Um, I'm going to go in and try to change some other um, bits on it. Yeah, it's a good color. Buying any ants at the airport is a rite of passage to adulthood. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I always used to get any ants, um, especially like going to and from home from college. Um, yeah, he looks more like a friend now. I'm, I'm much, much happier with the way that he's looking, which is just the way that art works, you know? Um, let's see. A hard glazer. What's that going to do? Okay, interesting. Um... <laughs> Uh, what about an old faithful? Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, uh, let's do a little more color work here. Ooh, that's too skinny. Okay, and it has to be under the, this layer. So let's, yeah, that's going to be nice to give it a little extra texture, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's nice. That's the ticket. Um, I don't know. What else is going on with chat? Yeah, he's a delicious boy. <laughs> yeah, we've been trying to do, like, good recipes every weekend, just because there's not a lot to do in quarantine. Did I do, yeah, for the thinking of ending things review? Um, if you mean the one that, uh, I don't know what, quite what you're talking about. Uh, I didn't do anything that like went up on the site, but I did post a drawing to my Twitter, which is maybe what you're, t uh, referencing, um, which I did do. Um, okay. What other colors can we get up here? Let's see this one. Baking's always fun. Yeah. It's just a good quarantine activity. Am I drawing on the right layer right now? Yes. Okay. Good. A little more here. More there. Mm, no, I don't like the way that turned out. The hardest thing about being in college is not being able to cook and bake. Yeah. When did I do that? Um, yeah, sorry. I, I was talking about the line, not cooking and baking in college. Yeah, it's tough to not have like an oven and stuff um, that you can, that's like set aside for you to use. Um, yeah, we didn't really have anything like that at my college and I, I'm pretty sure most colleges, I guess. Mm, too brown. A little more orange here, I think. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty nice. But you're moving out in two months. Am I going to do any pies now that it's autumn? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that would be good. Uh, just got to think of a kind of pie. I really like apples, so I feel like that's kind of the prime contender for um, pie baking in this household. <laughs> we'll see. Brian doesn't really like fruit. Um, not that he like doesn't like them, but he doesn't like them as much as I do. Um, if it makes anyone feel any better, the ignition in my oven clicks at random intervals. It's very haunted. Ooh, that is kind of scary. Okay, uh, I think I need to do a little more erasing because of the salt, the salt of the salt crystals got obliterated. Let's see. I should have just colored them in and let them be. That might have been easier for me, but... It's okay. It's not a huge deal. You know? Okay. There's Pretzel Friend. That's a little Pretzel Friend. He still really, really just looks more poop-like. Uh, but I don't know how to make him more pretzel-like. So that's it for, for that's it. For that. Um, I guess let's try to do... I love him. Thank you so much. I'm glad that, I'm glad that he turned out okay. Um, what's, what should we do next? looks good maybe a frog and toad just because we're talking about him but they're like so, kind of surprisingly hard to draw 
Uh, I've tried before and it doesn't. I'm just Googling frog and toad on my phone right now to see, to just look at a picture of them. I mean, they are really cute. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we can just try to draw some spooky stuff, I guess. Mm, oh, here. I have to be here to be centered. Um, he looks like a cute pretzel ninja turtle. <laughs> I guess that's the best um, that I could ask for, um, for to happen with this. Let's go back to ballpoint pen. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Um, collage of fall foods. That does sound nice. A pumpkin fence. Yeah, ghost pie, spooky Pokemon. <laughs> a jack-o'-lantern friend. I guess that's always a ghost pie. Uh, a jack-o'-lantern friend holding ghost pie. Ghost wearing coat and scarf. I do like... Sorry. To, yeah. Vampire ghost. Yeah, just some cute Halloween friends, I guess. Let's see. I guess it's better if the eyes are hollow, right? I'm always here to endorse carved carved turnip over carved pumpkin. Wow. Um I don't think I've ever seen one of those. But I believe you. I don't really like the eyes anymore. I'm going to get rid of them. Um, Terra Terra Bozu. I have not heard of what that is. Uh, it's very over the garden wall. I do love over the garden wall. Uh, and I'm using an iPad and Procreate. The pretty standard set. Let's see. Is that better? Do I like that better? I don't know. What's What would be good? Close, close together, maybe? Hmm. This is just trial and error stage, isn't it? I, I do like the Japanese tissue ghost. Oh my gosh. I could make his eyes really big. I think small is the way to go. Yeah, that this is good. He looks a little sad. Um, but I like that. Uh, we'll put the lines, the pumpkin lines in later. Put turnip lantern, turnip lanterns are nightmare fuel. Whoa. Okay. Um, 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 um. what next for our little friend? A little scarf. I will draw the tassel because that makes it easier to color later Oops. and somebody said oh a teeny tiny hat I mean that's a good idea I do like I do like the idea of a teeny tiny hat yeah let's do a teeny tiny hat right over the little pumpkin stalk. Yeah, there we go. Give it a nice knitted sweater. There we go. That's good. People had said ghost pie earlier, so I'm going to make him hold one. He's brought one to the party. He's brought a little ghost pie. I don't know what a ghost pie looks like, though. This bit. I'm sorry, I had to go talk to, to, to Jonah and everyone, and I, t I told them to tune into the to the yeah. video. The, here's here's <laughs> Jonah and his sisters on the thing. This We're just having amazing. a little chat. I love what's going on. They love what's going on. <laughs> Thank so, you. Um, we just had a little moment to say hello. Mwah. I love you. <laughs> okay. Gotta go finish this conversation. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. I love you guys.
Okay, a nice visit for Brian and Jonah and, and the and the Scots. Um, I think ghost pie means he'll just have a little face. It's just a little pie ghost. Oh shit, I made the hand worse, didn't I? Okay, so he's holding he's got little gloves probably. It's pie it's a pie with a ghost face, yeah. <laughs> um and I think he Yeah. Let's get those arms in, baby. Okay. He's definitely wearing one of those shirts that does like this thing. Welcome back. Hello. Um Let's see. We'll tuck in the shirt here. And I think he's gonna have some long legs. I have drawn him too low, so we'll bump him up first. We'll give him a big belt buckle. The buckle will be much bigger. I think I made his waist maybe a little too, a little bigger than I wanted it to, so I'm gonna trim him down a little bit. There we go. Ghost pie. It's a no-bake pie. Ghost pie is pudding pie. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty valid thing to say. Did you finish your pretzel already? I did. It looked, uh, it looked like okay. Do you want to see it? I would like to see it. Okay, hang on. <laughs> well, I'm showing Brian my pretzel. It looked like this. Oh, that's a good pretzel. Um, I, <laughs> but the problem is I think it looks more like a poop. That's a good pretzel. <laughs> I think that pretzel is very nice. Karen. No, it, the, it looks like a it looks like a poop. I, I mean, I'm not not happy with it. But pretzels will sometimes look like poops. <laughs> I guess that's true. Thank you, Brian. Oh, thank you, Steve. Hi, everyone. Go follow uh, Steve Wolfard at Walford because his drawing streams are so good, and you'll. You'll, as soon as you watch him, you'll be like, holy shit. Why haven't I been watching these all my life? Why haven't I been looking at this art every minute of my day? I'm not being ironic. Um, legs for days, arms for minutes. Well, uh, his arms are a little bit up in that biz. You know what I mean? I'll put some more patterns on his pants later. Or on his shirt later. Um, okay. Uh, I think I would want his feet to be like here. So we'll we'll start his boots here yeah that seems good to me I'll fix his toes later it's okay yeah he's a long boy um, that's what you gotta have a little long boy sometimes we'll just do that for Okay, let's color this boy in. He's a, he's come to your party. He wants to have a good time. He's put on a costume for you, and he's brought a ghost pie to the party. Isn't he a good friend? <laughs> okay. What kind of music does he like? He likes Dead Man's Bones. Uh, a little on the oranger side. I think that'll be nice. I think that's a nice color for him. And what do we want to use to color him in? All right, let's go. Parties. I know, I want to go to a party. I miss parties. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, a little brighter. Um, it was kind of crazy. We're we're wa we're currently watching um the barbecue chef's table season, and there's a scene in one of the episodes where a bunch of people have gathered together and a guy is just pulling pork off of a hog. And he, like, just gives pieces of meat to the people who are waiting in line. And they just, they take it in their also bare hands and just eat it. And I was like, that, you can't do that now. <laughs> Y'all were going to parties before? <laughs> What's in his pockets? Um, probably just his cell phone. I'll draw his phone later. I'll, I'll make a note to myself to draw his phone. Um... Because he probably has a good home... Ooh, that's not the brush I wanted. He probably has a good home screen, you know what I mean? 
I don't think he's using widgets, but he could if he wanted to. A coal miner's pumpkin. Yeah, I mean the the big thing is I you miss um being able to just hang out with people, not necessarily partying, but just like having people over and cooking. Stuff like that. Oh, I'm so bad at colors. Okay. Um That's okay though. I think that's fine. Um, and it sucks because I and also other people I know have like moved to new places um, since the pandemic started and it's like I just want to have a nice house housewarming party but I can't shared meat yeah I miss theme parks too although it wasn't like I was going that frequently um, prior to the pandemic so not too much has changed okay Do a little underline. We got a little that going on here. There we go. I think that's that's good. Yeah, I miss museums too. Although we went to the MoMA recently because they reopened. Although I don't know if they're gonna close again or not or what because some things in New York are closing again because opening things didn't work. <laughs> it's not funny. I shouldn't laugh, but you know it's like. We all knew this was going to be bad. Okay. There's this little pumpkin head. Um, I could put some more color on there, I think. Uh, let's do a little pumpkin shine. Right up on here. Right up on this bis. No, I don't like that. I think that's, yeah. That's a re nice, respectable shine on that pumpkin. Uh, you have to laugh or you'll cry. Yeah. What are you gonna do, right? It's not up to me. Um, happy, just gotta wait it out, see what happens. A little more, a little more here. There we go. Maybe even a little more here. Yeah, that's better. Simone's farm tour. Yeah, I need to ask her if she did that. Um, He's a shiny boy showing up. Yeah, of course he would shine himself to come to the party, you know? He's got to look nice. Okay, let's put a little extra shine just right up there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, I didn't mean to do an eraser. I just want to do it in pen. Yeah, there you go. There's a nice shiny boy. Okay. I've never been to a farm before. This bump and count hand has real Harry Dean Stanton vibes. You know that's what I'm aiming for. All right, let's color that hat in, shall we? Oh, darn. I should learn about layer masks, but I shan't because I'm an idiot. Uh, gotta run and do homework. Uh, good luck with your homework. Sometimes I'm like, do I miss having homework? And it's like, no, I don't miss having homework. I just miss um, having friends. Uh, who are forced to do all the same things. So we're all just hanging out all the time. I didn't mean to pause it like that. And I heard Brian laugh and now he's typing. He's going to dunk on me in the chat. <laughs> Please just clip. You're so mean. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a nice little hat for a nice little boy. Um, oops. Okay, yeah, that's a nice little hat for a nice little boy. Now we're gonna color in that band. That band is gonna be red for sure. A little orangey red. Oh, he's, I can see him clipping it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's a nice color. And we're gonna make, oops, we're gonna make his scarf the same color too, I think. A little darker here. Oh no, keep clicking the wrong colors. That's the same color. I can't be trusted with any power. Okay, 
Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do a nice color here. A sweet southern lad, big man, always matches hat and scarf. He, you know for sure he's trying to look good when he comes up to your party. My man turns up to stunt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think his gloves are probably the same color too. So we're just gonna go ahead and color those in. He's come to bring you a spooky treat. For this Halloween meet and greet. That's my rhyme for you about this little man. There we go. Now we gotta do some shading. Um, what is the sweet pumpkin boy's name? I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out together, stream. too much on that yeah that's fine pumpkin man and sam neil <laughs> i i would hope so i want to hang out with sam neil i interviewed him once he was a very sweet man okay i'm just gonna do another layer for the shirt because why not that shirt is for sure denim Somewhere, somewhere in that tone, I think is nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good color. I like that. It's like a darker cornflower, cornflower blue. This top decorative bit is going to be a, cr a nice cream color, I think. this bit I gotta I gotta do the blue Henry or Sammy yeah that's pretty nice Walter or Gordo I won't name him Henry because that was the name of a, a not so nice boy that I used to know in college Melvin? Carol Shannon Jr. Karen Focus. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the problem with the drawing stream, right? Is because I have to keep my eyes on the iPad and I can't look at chat as much anymore, whereas it's easier to multitask when I'm doing like Pokemon or Crusader Kings. Uh, though both of those have been really fun so far. Um, yeah, I don't know how other people stream. <laughs> um, I did just uh, sign up for Final Fantasy XII. Well, no, for 14, that's what it is, online. And maybe we'll try to stream that, too, just for fun. He's just a good boy who wants to come to your Halloween party. Uh, what kind of pie? It's a ghost pie is what we have established. you got to get into Genshin Impact. Is it good? Should I, should I get into Genshin Impact? Uh, so probably like a banana green or something. I think, I, th I feel like that's a pretty safe guess. Oh, I gotta finish coloring in a shirt. I'm not done. It's fun as hell. Plus, you know I'm obsessed with, obsessed with gacha pong. Gacha games are so dangerous for me. Um, although I heard that, like, the gacha aspect of it, uh, isn't, like, doesn't really kick in until later. Which is maybe a good excuse for me to go try to check it out. Because I do like to play Breath of the Wild. It's wee Breath of the Wild. I mean, yes, yeah, anime wives. Breath of the Waifu. Yeah, I do. I mean, I do like that title. Okay, um, let's see. Should I make his pants the same color? Or should I make him a diff... 
Mm, maybe his pants are a brown corduroy. I think that'd be nice, actually. Let's just finish coloring in his shirt, and then we'll worry about his pants after that. I think that's good. It's pretty good, um, and you can get a decent amount of characters without spending any IRL money. I mean, that is, um, that's the big part. Pants should be lighter denim. I like that take. Yeah, although, yeah, darker denim. Oh, someone said darker denim, lighter denim, corduroy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll end up going with corduroy just because of that. Uh, okay, now it's time to color in the rest of the shirt. I said I wanted to do a nice cream color. I'm going to stick to that. Yeah. I mean, we'll find out what they are when we get down there, you know? Are corduroy scarves a thing? Uh, I mean, I'm sh I don't think, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one, but I'm sure you could do it, you know what I mean? It's not out of the realm of possibilities. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna slightly darker for a little detail. Corduroy scarves, yeah, who knows? Tasseled on the shirt. Tasseled on the shirt? Uh, where did that idea go? Why can't I scroll right now? There we go. His sleeves could have tassels. I think, yeah. I think the thing is like, ooh, shit. Uh, they would have tassels if it was like a, a jacket, right? But I don't know if a normal shirt would, because this is just a nice shirt that he's wearing to the party. Um, I'll do a little... A little detail here, though. Oh, I just got a, a very sweet text from my friend Micah, who said, I do not have a Twitch, so I couldn't comment, but the pumpkin is turning along very nicely. Thank you, Micah. I love you, and I miss you. Um, how he, I wonder if he wore a bow tie. Bow tie does sound good, honestly. Um... I don't know if I'll add it though. We'll see, right? Uh, what else is going to be good for this? Who's throwing the party? I don't know. Is the pretzel at the party too? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little bad pretzel. I tried my best. I tried my best to make the pretzel look nice. Uh, let's see. I don't know what's what else how else to make this look nice. The shoulders already have a scarf though. Uh yeah, a little black hat by his feet. Yeah. I'll put another little star here. A little circle detail, I think, coming up this way. Um, I guess I shouldn't try to make it too busy, but I'm going to do one more of these. And I think that'll be nice. Yeah, that looks cute. Okay, now we do need to reckon with what his pants are going to be. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the corduroy. I want to I want to put a nice brown color in there, I think. Yeah, I think that's good. Let your heart choose his pants. 
<laughs> More denim. Ooh, that's too big a brush. He's dressed to the nines. More denim. Make the pie denim. <laughs> a real uh, Canadian tuxedo. Oops. He's just a sweet boy. Who wants to be invited to the Halloween party? It is a bummer that this year that Halloween is on a Saturday and that, but we're in lockdown. Can't do anything. Even though it's a weekend day and you don't have to worry about going to work tomorrow. It's just the way things are in this hell of a year. There we go. There's one leg. Halloween is a full moon this too. Oh, man. Zoom Halloween parties. I guess in theory that's what you should do, but I'm so burnt out on Zoom now. Don't like Zooming anymore. Just It's just work. It saps the energy out of me way faster than actually hanging out with people. Um, <laughs> first Halloween weekend in ages and this is what happens. Yeah, amen to that. Alright, there we go. Let's get a little shading on those pants. A little shading on those boys. This truly is the scariest Halloween ever. Yeah. It is, ain't it? Alright, well, let's clean that up a little bit. Oops. Saying oops a lot this stream. Astral projection Halloween party. <laughs> Okay, uh, now we gotta put some corduroy detail in there. What's the best way to do that? 4.10. What if his belt buckle was bad shaped? <laughs> he's just trying to look nice. I don't think he's trying to look too spooky. You know what I mean? Um, but we'll do, we'll give him a little, where, where are his knees going to be? Like here. A little knee scuff and it's a little too curvy for me to like it. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Um, yeah, people definitely don't think that Zoom Hangouts require as much energy as they actually do just because it's a virtual thing. Um, let's... It's a tough year, I tell you what. Oh, that's not the brush I wanted. Uh, Master Ink, let's go back there. Actually, make just might need a third layer there to be easy. Yeah, there's some there's some long leggies on this lad. Okay, now we color in that belt buckle. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's get a nice shine on that buckle. Okay, and a little shading on the belt. It's not Windows Paint. It's Procreate. I just am slow about answering that because I've answered it several times on the stream already.
Yeah, there we go. All right, let's color in his boots, which I think are just going to be dark brown, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I could give him red boots, red leather boots. That could be fun. Yeah. All right, let's do that then. Um, I'm going to grab the color from here. Okay, cool. Perhaps a turquoise. That's not bad either, but I think I'm trying to go for a unified color scheme. Pink boots. <laughs> Just a little spooky friend. Oops. There we go. Oops, let's get the toe of the boot. Yeah, he's stylish without being gaudy. Put a little shading up in this business. Clean up the soles. I think put a little bit of detailing in. Let's just take it up to. I think that will be good. Just some nice details for his boots. I would let this man hold my drink at a party. Yeah, me too, honestly. He seems he seems like a stand-up lad. Oops. It's not quite right. There we go. There we go. Oops. Okay, that's a whole lad. Um, people requested a cat, so we'll do that real quick. It's just behind him. Taurus vibrates. <laughs> Well, let's do some big ears. Why not? I think I want one of those pretty classic Halloween cats that just are big lines. There we go. Uh, now we just have to. Oh, good night, good night to Ireland. Um, let's color in this boy. Actually, we should color, color him in on a different layer, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
I see. Okay. Gotta be careful around the boots. I, I feel like this cat is not as cute as chat wanted it to be, but it's Halloween. It's just Halloween. He's just a little tall cat. That's fine. Uh, let's do some racing here. That's good. And we can get rid of that line, I think. A perfect cat. It's sufficiently cute. Okay. He's just a Halloween friend. Okay, let's do, let's give, let's put a little background in here. Um, that's not the slider that I want to move. I want to move this one. Is that a good color? I don't know, man. The cats just shine. We love them. I think the cat probably lives at the house that the party is being conducted at. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's good. Oops. Go back, please. Yeah, it's the very last. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I keep just junking it up. He's just a friend. darker shadow here. There we go. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's a good texture I can put on top of all of it, like the last one. Let's see. This color again, please. Pressure shader. No, that's too much. Um, watercolor texture. I think it just has to be less than that. Just lower the opacity a little and try that. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's pretty nice. Yeah, that's a friend. The textures do make the textures do a lot, honestly. Um No, stop that. There we go. I don't like that. <laughs> we'll get rid of that. It's okay. Nobody saw it. Happy Halloween. He just says happy Halloween. Uh, let's fix the speech bubble. It's not quite the right shape for what's going on here. Oh, 
shit. I junked that up real bad. This is the worst speech bubble anyone's ever drawn. Okay, that's better. He says, happy Halloween. He wants to come to the party. Um, let's finish this drawing by finishing his phone detail. I can do better. I think that's more. Okay, that's his little phone, his little pumpkin phone. I don't know what his background would be. Uh, Karen the pie. Oh shit, you're right. I gotta call her the pie. Thank you. <laughs> Karen the pie. Uh, you're right. Okay, let's call her in the pie. Ten. I'm gonna put this on invisible for a sec because I can't see anything. Um, when that's up. Um, he knows Bella Lugosi. <laughs> there we go. Let's do a little darker, so a little shading. On this side, a little here, and a little shine on this side. Um, and the pie, I think, is just going to be white. It's a ghost pie. Ooh, no. Um, although maybe it should be a little, a little creamy, er, a little more this color to make it look more like food. Yeah, there we go. I think that's a good kind of pudding pie-ish color. And we'll do a little bit of putting shading here. Oh, what? Oh, no. That, I thought something changed on my screen. I was just being crazy. Okay, there we go. Now the pie is colored in. He brought you a nice Halloween pie. Uh, maybe we'll make the area around the face a little wider. This is this one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I think that's a good. <laughs> Making it a pumpkin pie is illegal. <laughs> that's fair. I think that looks okay, though. Um... I'll call her in his phone for fun. Just for fun. Um, has to be a little black around the outside. What pen am I using right now? Comic Kicker. Oh, it's just really small. Okay. Maybe it being a pumpkin pie is why it's a ghost. Oh. Okay, um, this is just white. I've made it too big now. It's too unwieldy now. Uh, and then we'll get that message green color. That color. <laughs> um,.
what is the background? What is his background going to be? Gore my pants. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Um, let's see. Let, I think it's pumpkin. I'll make, I'll make it Dracula since everybody loves Dracula in the chat. There's a little... Okay, I think that's that's good. Oh, we'll color this in. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we have to color it in on a different layer. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a good question. Bela Lugosi Drac or Christopher Lee Drac? Um, I don't know. I mean, they're both so good. I'll leave it up to the interpretation of whoever's looking at the picture. Because it's a pretty just cartoonish Dracula right now. It could be anyone. Oh, I forgot to color in his little hand. Yeah, I think his shirt is just white. But his pants will make a darker gray color just for the sake of not putting black on black on black because that's not super legible okay and he is going to be wearing jeans in this one i think yeah there you go His teeth? Oh yeah, that's a good point. I should put his little teeth in. There. Teeth. <laughs> Alex Hamley from a Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> I was gonna put him in a nice burgundy shirt. There we go. In the background. Um uh, what would be a good background color here? Maybe a, a nice pale blue is the way to go. Um, I'm just gonna do it in a uh, I don't need a sep whole separate layer to do that. Let's just do this. That should that should take care of it. Yeah. A quick white there because it's a phone. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, he's just a pumpkin man. He's come to the Halloween party um, to have a good time. Why is that so big? Okay, there. That's a little too small. Um, where did this fleck come from? What is this? Is that just on my screen? No, it's not. Where did it come from? What layer is this in? Oh, got it. Okay. I don't I don't need to do that. Happy Halloween. 
Okay, there's our good spooky drawing for today. I think that's pretty good. I feel happy about that. Okay, we've been streaming for like an hour. I feel like that's pretty good. A good a good stream note to end on. Um, I'll probably post this and maybe the pretzel to my Twitter after this. Although the pretzel really didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll try to do more drawing streams at some point. Um, uh, although, yeah, I'm glad, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you guys had fun. It was fun to hang out with the hang out with the chat for this um and uh otherwise also will be still playing pokemon and stuff um and uh, crusader kings 3 m trying to do um final fantasy 14 at some time uh we'll see i don't know it's tough all right uh i'm so sad the weekend is over already <laughs> um but it is what it is all right, goodbye.